Hey makers, this is Thruveen and today let's talk about one of the use cases from AI Builder. Sometimes we have a requirement where let's say for an example I am uploading one image in the SharePoint. I don't know what image I am uploading it. But there should be some AI based capability. As soon as I upload the image, it should automatically get the description of an image. Let's say for an example, if I'm uploading an image of a truck, it should say me that, okay, this is the truck image. And somehow it should provide some tags as well for the image. Like let's say this is truck. So truck is one of the tag for that. How we can achieve this kind of requirement? Let's have a look. To achieve this kind of use cases, we can use Power Automate and AI Builder. Before we jump into the actual development, if you haven't followed me on my Twitter and Instagram so far, do follow me because these are the platform where I'm uploading short content on Power Platform. To get started with the AI Builder, make sure from you open make.powerautomate.com and from the left navigation, you simply click on AI model. After that, click on the image option from here and you will be finding an option over here called image description. So image description basically generate the description from an image and this is a pre-built model. You don't need to do any additional stuff for that. Now let's simply use this model. When you use that over here, it is providing you the playground as well to play with the stuff. So let's say for an example over here, you can see that this image was uploaded over here, right? And over here, it is providing the description that a man running on a road. And over here, it provided some tags, like over here, there are some buildings, jogging, grass, city, sky, exercise. So depending on the image, it provide you the tag over here. Along with that, it is providing you the confidence score as well that how AI model is confident about the result it generated. Okay, now over here, you can upload your own image and check the details as well. Let's say for an example, let me upload one image and over here it has generated the description like a basket of grapes and bunch of bananas see and from here it generated this tags as well for it indoor fruit and several and you can see that here confidence score is 41 percent if i upload the another image of tractor you can see that it clearly say me a blue truck with a yellow trailer and you can see the confidence score here is 48 percent over here you can see that tags are truck transport concrete mixer trailer etc etc right now let's say in sharepoint whenever i upload this kind of stuff it should generate this kind of tag structure automatically for it okay so let's get started so once you check the stuff over here there is an option available over here at the bottom to use a pre-built model so let's simply click on that and over here there are two options provided either you can use it in the flow or you can use it in the app so i simply want to use this in the flow so i will simply select use in the flow and as soon as you do that activity it will create a new flow for you when we click on that it will provide you this kind of template for us to start with the flow generate description for an image but over here you can see that it is using dataverse office 365 connector and outlook one but this is what we don't need we will start from scratch as well you going by my flow so let's clicking on create and let's create an automated cloud flow from here and here we will use a trigger when a file is created in the sharepoint so let's click on skip and over here let's add our trigger point as a sharepoint so i am selecting sharepoint and click on see more over here there is an option available when a file is created so i will simply use this particular trigger from here so let's select it and here first let's provide the site address so i am selecting my site and i am selecting my document library so over here this is what my library is image library and if i show you the library this is how the structure of the library looks like by default we upload a file here here i have description image column and text column available over here where we will uh, provide the value when we upload the file now let's add an action clicking on add action and search for an AI builder and over here you need to search for generate the description from an image. So over here you will be able to see this particular action generate description of an image and this is what we need to use. So let's just use it and as soon as you do that it will provide you an option to 
provide an image so over here we need to provide our image content but how do we get the image because this trigger will not providing you actual image so before that we need to add an action get file content of sharepoint so let's add that get file content let's search for that and this is what we are getting get file content and again let's provide the site address and here i need to provide file identifier so go to the dynamic action and search for identifier and you will find a value from the previous action over here so let's just provide it simply after providing that just go to generate description for an image and now over here we get the file content using the previous section we just added so let's supply this value over here so i'm providing file content over here after we do that particular stuff we will get the output okay and for that what we will do is we will simply take one compose action and print to our output over there so let's try to print it and over here you can see that i am getting description over here along with that i will get the tags as well over here so let's just print it okay and see what we come up with and over here let's rename our flow as well and i'm just renaming my flow as ai builder generate description let's save it and after that we need to add an action over here as well to update our uh, document library property so here you just need to provide like update file properties and over here again let's provide the site address library name over here and you need to provide the which file you want to update so basically you will get an action when the flow was triggered for the first time so let's select the id from here and click on advanced parameter and here you need to provide the description so description you are already getting from this tab generate an image okay so let's just uh, supply it over here so i'm just providing description over here and then we need to provide tags as well so let's go here and you can see here tag uh, available over here apart from that there are two properties you will find one is uh, that we did here is tags and tag so when you add tag basically it will add one by one row so instead of that what we need to do is we simply need to use a join expression to uh, combine array into the comma separated string so we will use this join and in dynamic content we will provide simply tags and from those tags let's just do comma separated so we will use the comma over here so this is how your expression looks like okay in join what we provided is uh, we provided simply the uh, tags and then comma separated string we need so we just provided this formula let's copy the same formula and go here into update file property and go into tags and go to this formula and paste the same formula over here and add that okay so that will add tags over here and we are all good let's save this stuff now let's go to the sharepoint and let's upload some files so here i am uploading two files over here so let it to be uploaded so you can see that these files has been uploaded successfully and now let's go into flow run and here we are you can see that flow ran successfully over here let's open up any run over here so i'm just opening it and let's see what it come up with so when a file is created we are getting the file content after that in generate description we are getting this and you can see that this is the whole output i'm getting from here so you can clearly see here i am getting the whole description i am getting the confidence around 40 percent and these are the objects which i'm going to find which means these are the different tags okay and after that we have a compose where we printed that and you can see here clearly that first we printed in this way and uh, you can see that it is an array and that array is somewhat which we converted into uh, this kind of comma separated stuff so after that we are updating the different value over here okay 
and now if i go to my sharepoint you can see for this one it is a blue truck with a yellow trailer and these are the tags and graphs and these are the tags for that okay so this is how we can simply extract the description using the ai from the images along with that we can add the tags into the document library hope this video helps you and values your time if so hit thumbs up subscribe my channel and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from me looking for any paid consultation or training the website link is available on the channel cover home page you can always connect us over there with this this is truvin signing off see you in the next session with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye